so ladies and gentlemen welcome back to exotic astrology and so many people have asked me in the last three months that on 25th december this year five or six planets are going to be conjunct in the sign of sagittarius so what is going to happen what is that new thing which will happen in this world? Maybe the world will be destroyed. Maybe people will die. There are many astrologers uh, who have made videos and uh, they are threatening people. They are creating fear. They are saying that if you don't come to us and get consultations or get uh, readings or get gemstones if you don't do pujas, mantras, tantras, yantras, sutras and mudras from us then you will not live after 25th December, all right? So, let us discuss in brief what is going to happen on that day. And as usual, this is going to be a bit heavy video. <laughs> so, I'm giving the disclaimer before. So, there are many strong things which I will say in this video, which uh, you may not like to hear, okay? So... If you continue hearing this video and things start pinching you and if you don't like it then please go away from this video because later on I don't want to waste your and my time seeing and replying to mails where you will write that you know oh, you're you're speaking nonsense I will send you to hell I will kill you so and so statements okay so if you send those mails to me or if you mail message me in whatsapp or facebook then i will direct your mail to the heavenly realms okay and it will merge in the eternal existence of the cosmos so today it's a very interesting topic well let's talk about transits first of all so people think that whatever happens in our life is dependent on the transits okay this has happened because most of the people do not know how to read dashas. Okay, so suppose somebody is running Venus Mahadasha. So most of the times, people and astrologers they, they they have no idea of what Venus will do in their chart, what will happen in Venus. So what people think is uh, okay, they will think it's very simple. Simple means okay. What does Venus represent? Venus represents. Uh, women opposite sex then it represents marriage then it represents love romance clothes vehicles property luxury these are the things venus represents okay so what will happen is okay in venus mahadasha something related to this will happen but something anything can happen these are so many topics anything can happen so what happens during venus so then they will say that Okay, so where is Venus placed? Venus is in the 10th house. So now they will combine. So Venus in the 10th house, maybe it means something to do with business of, you know, uh, luxury items or perfumes. Okay, because that is something which you can sell and get money. Okay, so they think anybody who has Venus in the 10th house will go on selling perfumes. Okay, will go on... Uh, or acting on movies or films and getting money through that okay and then next what they will do they will go and check in the navamsha oh venus is badly placed in d9 that means the bhagya is less the goodness is less the bad is more you see so that means you will not earn much money okay but then how much money will you earn hundreds thousands lakhs million billion trillion how much that nobody knows you see but you will not earn that much money because it's badly placed in the d9 somebody told me or then another astrologer will see your chart and they he will tell you oh no no don't worry your venus is well placed in the dasamsa chart okay in the d10 chart so you will get great results during this dasha okay and uh, then another astrologer will tell you that, oh, in your uh, Chaturthamsha chart, Venus is well placed. Okay. That means whatever happens to you during Venus Mahadasha, you will earn nice property. You will earn from rental income. You will earn from real estate. Okay. So then like this, you end up going to five different astrologers. And then all the five end up giving you different predictions. Okay. And then you are wondering, None of these things which these people told me is happening in my life. Okay. Why is it like that? 
then what you do is you lose faith in dashas then what you do is you start watching transit videos okay so for example many times uh, i never used to make transit videos till last year apart from the major uh, planetary transits of saturn jupiter rahu and ketu but every day i almost get 10 mails where people ask me oh mercury is going to or uh, transit to leo okay anyways i will make that video tomorrow so mercury will transit to leo for the next 20 days can you tell us what will happen and then i'm like well it will depend on your dasha not on the transit because transits are like the rains okay so suppose uh, i am sitting in my home comfortably but it's raining outside well, if it is raining, that's fine. I will not be much affected by it. Okay. Now, maybe it becomes very cold and then I take a jacket okay, to cover up myself. That could be one reaction. But suppose somebody is homeless. He doesn't have a place to go inside. Then what will happen? He will be totally drenched in the rain. Yes. Suppose somebody is walking in the street and then there is a rain. Then what happens? That person will be running to take a taxi or to find some shelter somewhere. Okay. Or suppose it's not raining that much. It's just, just raining. <laughs> so then what you could do? If it's not raining that heavily, then there are some people I know who will go and, you know, enjoy the rain. If it's raining a bit, if it's not raining very heavily. And suppose it is raining continuously for hours and hours and hours so then what happens well maybe there are floods then maybe the police or the army or some other official has to come okay so now the thing is the rain is happening for everybody okay it is raining in one place but everybody depending on their situation will feel the rain differently okay so when I say everybody's situation is different, I mean that somebody may stay in a palace, somebody may be in a small hut, somebody may be in a room or maybe in a hotel or maybe sleeping in the floor, down in the street. So that is your dasha. Okay, so we have to understand how to analyze a dasha very well. If we do not understand that, then what will happen is we do not know what is going to happen in our life then all these funny transits funny transits they appear as if they will create some major crisis or they will give you some great results okay good or bad whatever you call it so this means on the 25th or 26th december this year what will happen that day will be dependent on the dashas that you are running okay and everybody will run a different dasha which means suppose you are running venus mahadasha and your friend is also running venus mahadasha but your venus will be in a different house his venus will be in a different house maybe your venus is in the same house for both of you but it will be in a different sign for you and for him maybe it's in the same sign your ascendant is the same but it will be in a different nakshatra. Maybe it is in the same nakshatra, but it will be in a different nakshatra pada. And in the D9, it will be in a different nakshatra or in a different house in the D9. So therefore, what happens that day will be dependent on your dasha planets. Okay. And if you want a general prediction, now, of course, there are crazy things which can happen anytime. Okay. So when this Mars Rahu conjunction was there you know, in May, June, July during this time, you know, Venus Rahu, Mars Rahu. So in the month of April, many people had asked me, sir, uh, they are telling that uh, in Mars Rahu conjunction in June, the world war will start. Okay, Some astrologers gave a prediction there. there many people told me that. Well, uh, they asked me, so what will happen? So what is your opinion? I said, irrespective of what happens in the world, I can definitely tell you what will happen to you. What will happen to you is you will get up in the morning, you will brush your teeth, go to the toilet, take a bath and then rush for your office. All right. So that's the prediction for 25th December 2019, hopefully. And many people will not like this because many people are waiting that I give some 
super complicated ultra modern or ultra fancy answer you know by which they can share this video with 10 people and they, they can create some masala so these are things which we do when we have a filthy boring disgusting empty lifestyle okay should i repeat these are things which we do when we have a filthy boring and empty and a disgusting lifestyle where our lifestyle has no spiritual fulfillment and we are just wanting to keep checking transits. Okay, today this will happen, tomorrow that will happen. Aaj ye hoga, kal ye hoga. I know so many people who will even uh, check the transit of the moon and then they will try to think, you know, oh, this happened, that happened. Now, it's perfectly fine. If you are a student of astrology, then to do that is very good to learn the nakshatras of moon and how moon transits. But if you are if you are waiting and sitting and doing nothing and just thinking that oh moon will transit here okay moon is in jesta maybe i get some competition today some success well moon may transit jesta but you will be successful in the competition if you fight okay not that if you just sit and watch netflix or you are watching game of thrones then this is not going to happen okay so the thing is that the transits don't do anything it's just like the rains, okay? So maybe it rains for three hours and I'm like, okay, what's the big deal? I have a roof. It doesn't affect me, you see. But maybe it rain, rains for eight hours. And then maybe uh, somebody in some other place, there is a river which gets over flooded. Then that person will uh, have severe floods, okay? Depending on the situation. Maybe I stay in the ground floor. Then the flood will enter my room. Maybe I stay in the 10th floor. Then the flood doesn't enter, you see? Or maybe the electricity is cut off. Okay. So ultimately the dashas will decide what will happen. And if we know that once, then we know for end of it all, what is going to happen in our life. Okay. So we don't have to keep uh, wasting time seeing uh, the, uh, or rather than seeing, I would say getting obsessed, getting obsessed on transits. You know, oh, Mars Rahu is conjunct together. What happened? There's so many people I met in June, so many people, they don't even know astrology. My In my company, some colleagues, some Germans, some Indians, they, they have no idea of astrology. And then Mars Rahu came and they just passed. So now if I would go and tell them, oh my God, you know, Mars Rahu was conjunct in June, they'll be like, oh. okay, so what happened? Nothing happened. Okay. Now, suppose there was a bomb blast somewhere or there was a mass killing or shootout or some very bad event happened. Okay. So then you will see 10 videos in YouTube by so many astrologers who will start telling you that, oh, look, 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 this happened because Mars Rahu was conjunct. Okay. Like, uh, but, but the thing is, it's very easy to justify like that. Any, anybody can justify that, oh, Mars Rahu was conjunct. So there was a bomb blast. But could you tell it before the day of the blast? Well, if you could have told, then maybe you could have saved the lives of those people who died in some bomb blast. Okay, But that you did not do because you could not do that. But what you did is, oh, this happened. Now I have to show my astrological expertise. I have to gain followers. I have to gain fans. I have to gain subscribers. I have to get what not. Get, get awards also. There are many people who get awards for you know giving predictions after uh, the event has already taken place you will see detailed analysis of why this happened then they will see that then what they will do they will make a horoscope okay so suppose bomb blast happened uh, somewhere maybe you know in america okay in uh, washington dc there was a bomb blast so then they will take the time of the bomb blast they will make a chart of a dead event which does not have any atma or soul you know the the chart which is formed that does not have a soul it's it's a dead chart it cannot work and then they will say oh look 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 mars rahu was conjunct in gemini when the washington dc blast happened in the sixth house of competition so this must be done by a competitor of the us okay and they will write articles or 20 page articles and then 20000 people will see those articles okay and they become very famous. You see, he has exactly explained how this happened. But I wish that explanation could have been given before the bomb blast. Okay. Then lives of people would be saved. But nobody can do that. Nobody is Parashara. That is why everybody just keeps justifying like this. Okay, this happened, that happened. 
So long story cut short, it is not possible to predict anything using transits, okay? Because anything and everything that happens in our life is dependent on the dasha. Ultimately, the dasha speaks. Whatever dasha is telling, I am repeatedly saying this. And many people ask me, what do you mean when you say dashas tell what happens in your life? Well, I mean to say the dasha planets where they are placed and which houses they are ruling in the nakshatras and where the nakshatra lords are sitting. That is also very important. Which houses the nakshatra lord is ruling? Okay, the sign where they are placed. All of these will ultimately give you the final verdict of what happens in December 25th on December 25th this year. Okay. But if you want a generic prediction, I'm telling you what will happen. You will get up, go to the office and come back. That is all what will happen. Now, maybe it's the day of Christmas. So maybe you might go to a church or maybe go and have some fun outside. Okay. Or maybe now I'm making this video. Maybe on that day, there is a big bomb blast. Okay. And now later on, I will claim royalty for this. Look, 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 I said there will be a bomb blast. So I'm telling you before, I don't know if there will be a bomb blast or people will die or there will be world war. I don't know anything. So henceforth, I'm saying this on record. If anything of this happens, it is not my prediction and I have no knowledge about it. Okay. <laughs> so let us not waste time uh, by uh, not let us not waste our valuable human life by watching such videos you know such masala filthy disgusting videos which are there in the name of astrology which ruins the ethos of jyotish okay so if we continue to do that then our life will become like a movie every day there is some uh, masala transit going on okay chris uh, on december 25th this transit is there then tomorrow maybe you know Saturn Mars will be conjunct. Okay, then also there will be another world war. Okay, so maybe there is a world war or maybe there is no world war, but your life will be the same. Your life will only improve if you have discipline and you do spiritual practices and you have a focus in life. That is the way how you can improve your life, not by watching transit videos or by waiting for masalas and for spice. You know, this will happen, that will happen, none of that will happen. Whatever is you know, the stuff will happen ultimately. All right. So thank you very much for your patience and uh, I'm anticipating a lot of mails now regarding this video. So I'll be very happy if somebody understood what I said. Okay. But anyways, that's beyond my control. <laughs> okay. So thank you very much and uh, wish you all the best for that day because the world is going to be destroyed uh, that day as many astrologers have said. So let us see if we can still meet in YouTube after 26th. Okay. Hopefully I see you. Okay. Thank you very much. Wish you good luck. Namaste. Bye-bye.